mambo habari gani hello how are things karibuni sana katika lesson ya leo welcome to today's lesson and in this session particularly we'll be looking at how do we construct negative swahili sentences how do we construct negative swahili sentences we'll be looking at the essentials we'll be looking at um, the structure and we're going to have a quick practice of how we can construct at least one negative Swahili sentence across all different tenses. The first thing that we have to look at is that our learning outcomes by the end of our session today, we should be able to number one, understand what are the essentials, what do you need, which prefixes, which tenses, the verbs, how do we put it all together, and which is understanding the structure for putting together negative Swahili sentences. So we're going to start um, uh, with the first thing, which is the essentials. What are the essentials? The first thing that we need for us to construct a negative Swahili sentence are the subject prefixes. And these are the negative subject prefixes. We'll be looking at things like, I am not, you are not, he or she hasn't, we didn't, you plural will not, they are not. So these are the subject prefixes that we'll be looking into. And the second thing that we have to look at are our tenses. When did the action happen? Remember, these are still negative, but um, let's look at the first one, negative present tense. At the moment, you do not have a current uh, negative present tense, but I will show you how we put it together in Swahili. We also need the negative present perfect tense or negative present perfect tense, quick Swahili, has not and have not, quick Swahili. We need the negative past tense, didn't. We also need the negative future tense, will not. So these are the second bit that comes. So the first thing that we'll, you start with a negative sentence is the subject prefix, I am not, you are not. And then you add a tense where it applies. And then the last thing that you need to put are the verbs. So for example, a verb like kucheka, which means to laugh, and kucheza, which means to play. So those are the essentials that you will need. So let's have a look at the next part, which are going to be our the subject prefixes, the negatives. So we're going to have a look at the negative subject prefixes in Swahili. What are they? So in English, when you say I am not in Swahili, it is C. Si. Your turn. Can you say that? C. Si. Next thing that you need is you are not. You are not. For example, you're not going. Uh -huh. Who? That is the first subject prefix that you're going to start. Who? And I've put these hyphens here so that you know that this is what will start your sentence. The next thing we need is he or she is not. How do we say that quick Swahili? Ha. Can you repeat that? Sema? Ha. We are not. How do you say that? Say that. Sema? Ha to. Ha to. We also need you plural and not. Soma. Read it. Hum. Sema, can you say it? Hum. They are not. How do you say that? Hawa. Say that? Hawa. So these are the negative subject prefixes that will form the first part of your sentence. When you're constructing your sentences on the negative, this is what you expect to be finding. Kwekiswahili. Sante sana. So let's have a look at the next part, which is going to be our negative Tenses, Kwekiswahili, our negative tenses, Kwekiswahili. So we are going to have a look at our first tense, which is the negative present tense. In Swahili, we actually do not have a negative present tense. But if you're constructing sentences on the negative now, I am not going, you're not eating, he or she is not running, you know, the sentence is happening now, but on the negative, we are going to put the subject prefix, and then no tense, we do not have a tense, but your verbs at the end, the, if they're bound to verbs, that means they end with an R, the suffix R, they're going to, we're going to replace that R with an E. For example, I don't like sipendi, I don't like sipendi. So in this sentence, you can see that the subject prefix C starts, then we do not have anything in between there as a tense, and then the verb comes straight away, and then because the, band, the verb is a band to verb, penda, which means like or love, ends with an R, we're going to replace that R with an E, which is the letter I. But the letter I in Swahili has the sound E. So I don't like, I don't love, sipendi. We do have a negative present perfect tense. That one I have simplified it by saying has not or have not. I, I haven't. Yeah. She hasn't. Kwakiswahili. We do have a tense and that is a ja. 
So where we had previously like see pendy, which is I don't like, but if I haven't liked, we're going to be putting the jar in between there. So I'll be showing us in the next uh, session on how to put this. So do not worry. Here we're just looking at the essentials at this level. Then we have a negative past tense. And the negative past tense for Swahili is this tense, ku, ku. And then we do have a negative future tense, which is the ta tense. So I have simplified it and I'll be going through this over the next few lessons. Each tense individually constructing sentences with them. And then you'll be in a comfortable place to construct your negative Swahili sentences across different tenses. So the last thing that we need to construct these sentences are the verbs. And we have the first verb, to see, kwa Swahili. How do you say that? Kuona. To laugh, kwa Swahili. How do we say that? Kucheka. Can you pronounce that? Kucheka. Happy, kwa Swahili. How do you say that? Kufurahi. To be happy. Kufurahi. And the verb to play, kwa Swahili, we say? Kucheza. To return, to come back, kurudi, we do have to pay, kulipa, we do have another verb to try, kujaribu, and another last verb here, to wait, kusubiri, or kungoja, either of these two verbs are, is okay. You can use kusubiri or kungoja if you like. So these are some of the verbs that we'll be using to construct negative Swahili sentences across uh, different tenses as we progress. So what's the structure? What do we need? So let's look at the negative, uh, for example, the negative present tense. How would we construct a sentence? I am not going, he or she is not doing something. Present, now, it's happening now, but we are negating it. It's on the negative. So the first thing that you need is your subject prefix. And in this case, you're going to start with your C. And then you're going to come and add your verb, for example, penda. But you can see that now here, because the sentence is happening on the now, it's the, the verb is a Bantu verb, we're going to replace that a to an e. That's what I'm saying here. Note, if your verbs are Bantu verbs, drop the final suffix a and replace it with an i. So if you want to say, I don't like, I don't love, you're going to say, soma, say it quick, Swahili. Sipendi, I don't like. We do have instances where you're going to have Arabic verbs. And for example, the verb that I want you to use here comes from the word safari. Safari is the journey, but to travel, kwa Kiswahili, is kusafiri. But because we have to drop our ku, that's what we're having. Husafiri, that means you're not traveling. Because this verb is an Arabic verb, we do not change the ending. So it, the ending for Arabic verbs remain the same. Hence, you can see the E here. Sisafiri, and this is what I'm saying. Note, for Arabic verbs, that means these are verbs ending with an E, E, and U do not change their suffixes. So keep that E at the end. So this is a structure for constructing a negative present tense, a negative present tense or a tense sentence on the negative that is happening now, Kwakiswahili. Sante sana. So we do have another way of constructing another tense. Let's look at another tense, the negative perfect tense. Hasn't, haven't. So I don't want to bore you with this huge academic or grammar words, perfect tense and different tenses. I just want you to know if you're constructing a sentence that has, hasn't, haven't, which tense are you going to use on the negative? It's going to be ja. And uh, again, the structure, you start with your subject prefix, see, who, ha, all those ones. And in this case, I've started with the C. And then you add your tense. We do have a tense now, ja. You do have a tense, ja, which you're going to add there. And then you put your verb. For example, quenda. How do you read this whole sentence? Soma. Say it in Swahili again. Sija quenda. Sija quenda. That means, I haven't gone. Again, note that the last thing here on this present, uh, hasn't and haven't, when you're constructing sentences with the, on the present perfect tense, hasn't and haven't, do not change the final suffix a. Uh. As much as it is a band two verbs ending than a, uh, you keep the a. Uh. So, si jakwenda, I haven't gone. For Arabic verbs, for example, 
How do you read this? Soma, read it. Hajarudi. Hajarudi. Remember the ja kwa Kiswahili is a dominant j. So it's not a silent but it's a dominant j. Hajarudi, which means he or she hasn't returned. For Arabic verbs, again, do not change the final suffix ah. They remain the same. So for hasn't and haven't, keep your last suffixes ah. That is how we construct a present perfect negative tense. Quick Swahili. Let's look the structure for constructing a negative past tense. Quick Swahili, a negative sentence. What's the structure? And this is didn't, I didn't go. You didn't eat. He or she didn't do something. Quick Swahili, we're going to use the tense ku. And the structure for this, again, you start with your subject prefix. Si, hu, ha, ha, tu, ham, hawa. Plus your verbs. Uh, your tense, ku, you put your tense here. We do have a tense. And in this case, we are putting the ku. Or si ku, I didn't. Ha tu ku, we didn't. And then you add your verb. In this case, the first verb I have used here is lipa, which means pay. So, how do you read this, Kwek Swahili? Si ku lipa, I didn't pay. Ha tu ku jaribu. We didn't try. Look at that. We didn't try. So it's a long sentence. Hatu kujaribu. We didn't try. Again, remember the last syllable on the past tense. We keep the final suffix a, and on the bantu on the Arabic verbs we do not change the ending. Hence the remaining si kujaribu. We didn't try. Oh, hatu kujaribu. We didn't try. Sante sana. So let's look at the. Uh, Future negative tense, and in this, the negative future tense, Kwek Swahili, will not. What tense are we going to be using here? We are going to be using the future tense, ta. They say that the future is always positive. That's why the ta, when you're constructing both positive and negative sentences, the tense ta remains the same. Note that. So the suffix, you start with, first of all, it's subject prefix. You put your who, ha, hawa, sante sana. Then you add your pre, uh, your Negative future tense, the ta, which comes there. And then you add your verb. In this case, you're going to be adding kuja, which means come. You got it. So how would you say that? Huta kuja, which means you will not come. Or hawata safiri, they will not travel. So note that, again, we are keeping the final suffix r here. The syllable r remains there. And then for Arabic verbs, safiri, we do not change the ending. So that's very important. So in summary, what have we learned? So we have learned that anytime that you're constructing negative present sentences, you always start with your subject prefix. For example, I am not, C, and then put an I at the end. So I am not, C, verb comes in between here, and then an I at the end. So you're not. Who? Again, verbs at the middle and then I at the end, which is a E. So C and then E. Who and then E. He or she is not. Ha. We are not. Ha to. You all are not. Ham. And they are not. Hawa. So how does that look in a sentence? For example, I don't like sipendi. So you can see I've started with the subject prefix C. Then put the verb straight away and then added an E at the end because this is the present negative tense. That means that um, you replace the final suffix a, syllable a, with an E. Look at that one. You don't like. Hupendi. Hupendi. So that is a summary for present negative sentences. Kwaki Swahili. Let's look at um, the next summary for present perfect tenses or sentences. Kwaki Swahili. Hasn't, haven't. So we do have a tense here which is a ja. And let's have a look at it. I haven't. Sija, blah, blah, blah. So it will be sija and then you add a verb there. You haven't. Huja, then you add a verb at the end. He or she hasn't. Haja, then you add a verb there. We haven't. Hatuja, then you add a verb. You all haven't. Hamja, they haven't. Hawaja. Let's look at it. Note that they keep the last syllable a. Keep the last syllable a at the end of the verb. 
Let's look at an example so that you can understand how we do this. So he hasn't eaten hajakula. He hasn't eaten hajakula. We haven't eaten hatujakula. Whoa, the sentences become longer as you go down across the different subject prefixes. Hatujakula, we haven't eaten. So that first part, hatuja, is very important. And then you add your verb and keep your final R because of hasn't and haven't. The present perfect tense in Kiswahili sentences, they keep the final syllables R. What about when you're looking at the present, uh, the past sentences or the past tense sentences, Kiswahili? We do have a tense here, which is a ku. So if you wanted to say, I didn't, Kiswahili, it would be siku, then you add the verb at the end there. You didn't. We look at the subject prefixes. Huku and the tenses. He or she didn't. Haku. So the subject prefix is ha plus the past tense ku. We didn't. Hatuku. And this is how I want you to learn it. I didn't. Siku. You didn't. Huku. He or she didn't. Haku. We didn't. Hatuku. You all didn't. Hamku. They all didn't. Uh, they didn't. Hawaku. Note again, we keep the last syllable R on our verbs. For example, you all didn't go hamkuenda. They didn't go hawakuenda. That is very, very important for us to construct those sentences quick so healing. And the final one is the future negative sentences. Will not. What are our subject prefixes and the tenses? I will not. Sita, you can see sita, you will not. What do you think it is? Huta, he or she will not. Have a go. Hata, we will not. Hatuta, you all will not. Hamta, what about they will not? Your turn. Do you think you got it correct? Sawa, hawata. Again, on your verbs, at the end of your sentences, you will keep your final syllables. Ah. For example, I will not drink. Sita kunyoa. We will not drink. Hatuta <laughs> kunyoa. So Hili sentences can be long. And that is one word. We will not drink. Hatuta kunyoa. That is very important. So that is very important for Swahili. And thanks for learning with us. And check out the quizzes for more practice. That will be very important for you to see how that comes together or whether you've grasped these sentences. And our next lesson will be looking at our negative present sentences. How do you say I am not, you are not, across different verbs? Already you know the subject prefixes. You know that they, we do not have a tense in the middle. We just add an I in the end. But this is going to be a lesson where you're going to be practicing, doing more practice. Komboka, remember, practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the more you say it in Swahili, you say it better and you become good in Swahili. Koheri, until I see you in our next lesson, the negative present sentences, Kwak Swahili. Bye-bye.